I'm covering two updates that I wouldn't normally talk about, but one of them is shaking things up right now, and the other will change the competitive scene from now on, so it's worth being aware of these things at least. First of all, Valve has just put a 7 day delay on trading the items that are purchased in game. This is presumably to curb the turmoil that the in-game economy is facing right now. This all started on April the 6th or 7th, when last year's sticker capsules were put on a 75% sale. Of course, the sticker capsules immediately dropped in price on the market, as did the prices of the stickers contained within, but it has reached far further than that, dropping the prices of many different CSGO-related items and cases, and the quantity of trades must have been incredible. Because within hours of this starting, Valve announced that they were investigating a server load-related issue that was essentially breaking the Steam market, making trades impossible, causing items to disappear and then to reappear again a few hours later, and so on. Soon after that, Valve tweeted that services had been restored. The prices, however, have not recovered since, and then last night they announced the 7 day delay on new items purchased, which should at least slow things down, though it's still too early to say whether this will be enough to get things returning to normal anytime soon. I'll be the first to admit that I don't have a finger on the pulse of the Steam market. I've looked around at a number of videos from people in the scene, and have seen all sorts of theories and explanations from them about what's going on here, but I don't think it would help anyone for me to get involved with this by second guessing stuff, so I'm happy just to watch this from the sidelines as an interesting and ongoing story in the CSGO saga. The second change is to VAC bans. Valve is now allowing players whose VAC bans are more than 5 years old to play in Valve's sponsored tournaments again provided these bans occurred before the players were ever involved at this level of play. This doesn't mean that VAC bans are going to be erased from accounts, and it doesn't mean that these players will be able to play on VAC servers again, but it's an interesting development that has clearly come about because of the age of the game. CSGO has been around for over 8 years now, that's a long time for the people playing it. The question it all boils down to is, should players still be banned from a game because of something they did when they were much younger? Is redemption possible? It's reached the point where there are many pro players who weren't even teenagers when the game first came out. Should their lives as adults still be restricted because they cheated in the game when they were 11 or 12 years old? One player this applies to is VSM. He's 21 now, but was VAC banned back in 2013 when he would have been 13 or 14. So under these new rules, he'll be able to play in future CSGO majors. Other organisations and events have already changed the rules on this. Last year, Flashpoint announced that they would allow any player who had been VAC banned more than 24 months prior to compete again. Valve's approach to this matter is a bit more strict than that at 5 years, but this is still Valve softening their stance on the matter. Who knows how the situation will develop as time goes on? Will we reach the point where VAC bans eventually expire? Or will they forever be a mark of shame on accounts, no matter how long ago they occurred? Bear in mind that Valve has only softened their approach on VAC bans. If you're banned for other reasons, like match fixing, the situation won't have changed for you. So yeah, not my normal sort of content, but hopefully you found these developments interesting, and the consequences far-reaching.